no matter how shit a job is, you have two choices. As you look at that job, you go, that was a nightmare job. I hated it. I hated it. It was terrible. Or you go, yeah, that was a nightmare, but I've learned this from it. And one of the biggest things I learned from call centre work was, apart from the resilience to keep doing it, was note taking and how mm. important something as simple as that is as you go through your career. I mean, and especially what I do now from a consulting point of view, if you're not actually capturing the conversation, what's being said, how can you do anything with it? Um, so for me, it's always looking at taking the positives from what whatever you're doing as well. Because um, mm. it's quite easy to just look back and go, yeah, that was awful. Yeah. But actually, that doesn't help you. I think everyone's had that awful job, haven't they? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I think everyone's had that awful job. And that's, that's really good advice to take, take a positive out of that. You know? And then sometimes it's probably hard, but there is always a positive in there somewhere. Even if it's just, you know, the tenacity of sticking at a job um, long enough to, to, you know, make sure your CV looks good. And that was some advice that um, Rebecca gave to me when I when I was in the call centre. I was just like, I really can't stand it. She's like, mm. you, you've got to stay there long enough to start to build some consistency. Otherwise, how are you going to, you know, start laying the foundations for your next job? Yeah, no, it's very true. I think <clears throat> I've done years of course and work as well and I think we've talked about this before how at the yeah. time I just couldn't see the point in any of it yeah. and, and even years after I still couldn't see the point in any of it and I, I just felt like it was a wasted period of my life but at some point you just feel like you connect the dots a little bit and now yeah. suddenly some of those skills <coughs> communication skills note taking yeah that they now play a really key role in some of the stuff that I do now. But some of that can be the catalyst for you to work harder because you don't want to do that shit job anymore. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like you yeah. get into a better job and you think, fuck, I ain't going back to that. Yeah. There's no fucking way. Yeah. So I'm going to work really hard in this good job I've got yeah. to never go back to that there's, shit. There's a scene in Peaky Blinders that I love that that is exactly that, where I think, I can't remember what season it is, but he's doing a deal with the horses, Tommy, and he goes down to the stables. Yeah, it and starts, he starts mucking out. Yeah, it starts yeah. mucking uh, out. Yeah, yeah, I've watched that, yeah. And the, the, yeah. the, the stable hands like, uh, Tommy, like, what are you doing? And he says, just reminding myself who I'd be if I wasn't me. And, you know, no, no offense, yeah, yeah. you know, intended yeah, to yeah. stable hands, but to, that, that's, that's the point. It's, you know, it's, it's knowing, yeah, the, the, the importance of applying yourself in these roles, I think, yeah. because if you won and you just coasted through, you'd remain in that position. Yeah. And I think, you know, so I think one of the first call center jobs I had, I, I stuck at it for, I can't remember how long, long enough, probably like nine months or something, not, not a huge amount of time. And I was just like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I took a lot from it for that time. And that's when I went into bar work, which was, which was great fun and probably less than half the pay. It's something like, I think it was about £3.80 an hour at the time. Um, <clears throat> but then, you know, went back eventually and I spoke, I think I spoke to somebody in a recruitment agency and I said, I can't like that idea of what you're doing. What do I need to do to get that? And they said, you need, you need to go and get some sales experience. So um, I then got, went, <laughs> when it did door-to-door -door sales training and actually door-to-door -door sales Just jumping out of the deep end isn't yeah it? yeah <laughs> which again is yeah from a resilience point of view what's that like it's, I it's yeah, really do, do people just shut the door in your face yeah, it's really not good. Like I, bad, so. I wouldn't i wouldn't recommend it but yeah. again yeah. You, you, you the resilience you de uh, develop by actually having to get up everyone and go out and do something that is actually really really tough you know you've got a lot of positives to take from it um and then eventually, so I went out call center, another call center for long enough to actually develop some consistency in my CV and then went back to um, the same recruitment agency who were actually advertising at the time. Um, went through an assessment center and that's where I met Damien. Um, and yeah, I was successful becoming a, a recruitment consultant. So that's, I guess, where I first kicked off my career. 